Good morning, everyone. My name is Jody. My husband, David John, and I have a small farm in North Idaho. And these are the stories of our adventure. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And on with today's adventure. So as you may remember this spring, uh, we bought a half a pig from my mom and dad. They got the other half. We got the Gladys was processed the other day and today we're going to be working on doing the sausage for it. And we are following the recipe out of the Prairie Homestead, Homestead Cookbook by Jill Winger really awesome book. I've gotten a bunch of recipes out of it. But one thing we want to try as opposed to how all the other sausage recipes that I've seen is everything's thrown in dry. So we're going to, because it's got maple syrup in it, we're going to put the maple syrup and all the spices into it, kind of bring it up to temperature, reconstitute the spices let it cool and then mix it into the sausage. So that's the step I'm going to do now. And we'll use the wood cook stove to slowly bring this stuff up to temperature and then we'll cool it and mix it in with the sausage. And I am going to be tripling the recipe. We're going to do nine pounds of breakfast sausage and then nine pounds of uh, spicier breakfast sausage and I'll show the the addendum we did on the spicier one so let's get the stuff in into a pot and get it warming up so the recipe calls for three grounds of pork a fine onion we're going to use uh, onion powder quarter cup maple syrup tablespoon of sea salt, tablespoon dried oregano or sage, tablespoon ground mustard or teaspoon ground mustard, teaspoon garlic powder, three quarters of a teaspoon black pepper. So I'm going to get it in these pots and get it on the stove. Mustard, salt, maple syrup, pepper, garlic. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Tablespoon. So you figure a teaspoon of onion powder for one onion. One onion? Yeah, one small onion. Teaspoon or? Tablespoon. Thinking tablespoon? No. Is it powder or is it? It's powder. Yeah, yeah. That's probably it. Okay, so we're going to do one tablespoon times three of onion powder. Thank you. 
two teaspoons dried sage. One. Two. And this is the dried mustard. On the spicy one, we're going to be adding ground jalapeno. How much do you think? Two, two four, six teaspoons. Four teaspoons. Okay, spicy is going into black handle. I'll get this stuff cleared up so you can bring the scale out and start weighing. Can you hand me a scraper out of the dishwasher? Thank you. I'm just going to mix this all up into a slurry. Probably get a second separate spoon so I'm not cross contaminating. What? What? I think I'm gonna add a half a cup of water just because it's Really pretty pasty. Pasty, just so it doesn't burn. So, should be noting this in the book. Going to add a half a cup of water to each, just because it is kind of pasty like. Where's the pin? Yeah, 
how that looks. Better. Better. Less scorchability. Okay, so I'm going to take these guys over to the wood stove and we'll go from there. So, just going to bring these guys just up to temperature, like I said, just to basically reconstitute the dried herbs. So, because in theory, then that way the meat's not trying to reconstitute the herbs and we should get better flavor throughout. And spicy is block handle. And yes, this is the first time I'm using the wood cook stove to cook. I'm debating whether we need to get a light that's going to be shining down. Could always get a clamp light like what's on the stove for here. Yeah. So we got 18 pounds, handful shy of, oh, I had to try it with eggs. And I got a chicken feather in there. Imagine that. Uh, so we're going to divide this in half. And he's zeroing out the scale. And we were so inspired by my mom and dad's pan that we bought ourselves three metal ones. They're a little smaller. Uh, actually, no, they're about the same size. And then we got four of the plastic totes. So David John's going to divide up. I'm going to stir stuff. There's your weight. There's your weight. Okay. Then. That looks like more than that. Yep. So we're going to have to. That's that tub. That's that tub out. Probably enough to make two little one pounder bags of something plain. Right there. That works. Alright, so there's your the mix. Uh, let me grab this and you can pull that. So this last little bit we're just going to do is just ground ground pork. The mixture has, the regular mixture has come up to a boil. 
the spicy one, not yet, but we're gonna take this guy over, get him in a ice water bath to cool down so we can get the sausage mixed. Okay, this first batch is the regular breakfast sausage. And we're doing approximately one pound packages. And we did remember as this was heating up that we wanted to add red pepper flakes. So for the three pounds of hot sausage, we added one healthy tablespoon of the red pepper flakes. Nine pounds. Nine, yeah, nine pounds. What did I say three? Oh, yeah. Nine pounds, because we tripled the recipe. Whoa. 
So we got 16 country pounds of the sausage done. <laughs> We're gonna wrap it with the freezer butcher paper, get them labeled and get them in the freezer. But we do have that as leftovers to fry up and try it and see if it's any good. So here we've cooked two spicy ones and one not spicy. Dave John kind of cleaned the pan out and we don't know which one's which so when we go to taste test it'll be a completely blind taste test. I'm guessing. That one however I don't think is. I see red pepper flakes. I think so. Okay, I think those are too hot. That's the non hot. Taste the maple. the hint of jalapeno. Really don't taste the red pepper though. Mm -hmm. ah. That tastes good. Mm -hmm. We have to remember, because there wasn't a lot of fat, that it is kind of like on the dry side. Yeah. It is a I can taste the sage in that one a little bit more. Yeah. Which sets off the maple a little bit more. I don't know which I like better. I think I like the hot one better. I think I like the hot one. It's the jalapeno. The other one's more traditional breakfast though, for sure. Yeah. Both are good. Thumbs up. Good job, Mom. So I'll put a copy of the recipe down below in the description. Probably the only thing that we could have really done different is when we ground it up if we had a little more fat in it. But my mom and dad cook on the leaner side so not going to complain. Because it's good sausage. I know cooking isn't normally what we have on our channel, so I hope you enjoyed David John and I making the sausage. And I will write down the recipe and have it in the show notes below. But. Some of the stuff on the farm I don't show on camera. Part of it is YouTube doesn't like 
parts of it to be shown. But some of the players in our game of life have been processed. Uh, Chicken Bok and Turk Turk and I'm working on the adult male Muscovies. Just, I say herd, but and I know it's a flock, but it's just flock management. Don't need 28 drakes and only have 10 hens. It's too many boys. And that's not including the four that I'm saving for my breeding program. And I do have too many roosters, so I'm just slowly working through them and just trying to get the flock of birds back down to a manageable level for this winter when they get put into their winter pens. So that's where I'm going to end today's video. I hope you have a good day and a good week. And until the next time, bye.